for anyone who knows my channel and you've seen my full uh, collection videos um, I've got a lot of stuff and it's it's sometimes it's so much it's blinding that uh, I'm just surrounded by magazines and you have so much sometimes you're just blinded by it and you can't see everything it's kind of hard to explain right in front of my face the whole time I have a uh, Joe Frazier little setup on my wall and forgot that this issue was in there and I needed to show it for uh, the international boxing video but I skipped June because it was on the wall where he's knocking down Ali uh, so June of 1971 I uh, bypassed because it was on the shelf so there is one more issue for international boxing this video we're going to be looking at world boxing <clears throat> but um, uh, here is just a another uh, magazine Sports Illustrated that's got the sh knockout shot here I shouldn't say knockout knockdown uh, from Ali uh, Frazier one it's caught uh, Ali on his way down after Joe hit him with the left fantastic shot uh, captured and placed on the cover of this Sports Illustrated 1971 so these two issues were hanging on my wall and I missed them for the other video so that gets us to world boxing <clears throat> right now so issue number one for world boxing it was December 1968 with uh, Sonny Liston on the cover. Sonny says he can lick them all. 1970, March. First issue for 70 is March. Next issue is May 1970. And July 1970, throwback photo of Marciano with the famous punch. September 70 and Smoking Joe has got the target on his face all challengers are coming at him wanting his title November 70 your first look at Big George Foreman on the cover of World Boxing and this is just right after his uh, Olympics and uh, molding of a champion predicting him to possibly be the champ and of course we know he will Ali on the cover of Cassius Clay where does he go from here January of 1971 world boxing March 71 why Joe Frazier will destroy Muhammad Ali big George Foreman gets a full cover here in May of 1971 can Big George Foreman save boxing? Didn't know boxing needed saving. World Boxing, one of my favorite covers, Smoke and Joe, October of 1971. Jerry Quarry on the cover, December 1971. January. Um, there's no issue for 72 they put out their first I'm sorry their um, I think it's their actually their last annual uh, for 72 and then we'll go yearbook and annual that went by the numbering system so uh, 72 annual boxing is in place of January issue for world boxing and it's got uh, Ali and Frazier on the cover once again you'll see them on the cover a ton here in this decade February 1972 world boxing Muhammad Ali's toughest fight why Joe Frazier was not his toughest fight <clears throat> May I'm sorry April of 72 world boxing June world boxing 1972 got Mike Quarry the brother of Jerry Quarry on the cover along with Floyd Patterson his life story of the former two-time champ August 1972 world boxing October Ali why Ali never will never be as great again by Floyd Patterson worldwide poll votes Joe Lewis the greatest heavyweight champion of all time big Joe on the cover we got Ali coming in uh, is he on third? Thir uh, Smoking Joe was thir uh, third. Um, Marciano second, and Dem I'm sorry, Dempsey is second. Marciano third, and uh, Frazier uh, is fourth. 
Ali's not even mentioned. He will be once he get his title back. Uh, boxing uh, yearbook issue number one. And this takes the place of January's issue of World Boxing. So there'll be five issues of World Boxing by the month in 1973 with one yearbook. So issue, uh, issue for the first issue of uh, World Boxing January was a yearbook issue number one. Okay, So the rest of them will be World Boxing, but only, you only see five titles for this year because they come out every other month. So they skipped uh, January and then went right to March. Uh, Ali on the cover of March and we have a new world champion where does the new champion go from here George Foreman defeats smoking Joe Frazier puts down Joe and now we have a new champ first covered on the cover of May 72 special issue for the new heavyweight champion Right away, there's talks in July 73's issue of Foreman and Ali who would win The Jinx That Haunts Joe Frazier uh, and Muhammad Ali on the cover of September 1973. Why I'll whip Ali if we do it again, says Joe. Exclusive. Muhammad Ali reveals why I'll beat George Foreman on the cover of November 1973. January 73, an exclusive coverage of all Ali's fights and training sessions in a big pictorial in this issue of January 1974. March 1974, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier 2, the fight of the century. Full coverage inside to the buildup and the fight. Jerry Quarry on the cover of May of 74. Jerry was a great fighter. He just, he came along at a time where there was just too many powerful heavyweights. Had he come around maybe in like the early 80s, uh, he may have done a lot better. I mean, you're facing uh, Norton, uh, Frazier, Foreman. I mean, you know, he's, the guy's got his hands full, man. Every time you turn around, there's another banger coming out. Um, it's a shame because he was a tough dude and he was always in there and he hung out, you know, with the best of them. But just never got it, you know, never made it to the top. He had some great fight with Kenny Norton. Great fight with Frazier. July 1974. Special uh, why Jerry Quarry can beat Muhammad Ali. Uh, July of 74, World Boxing. September 74. Talking about Ali and Foreman. George Foreman insists, I'll knock out Ali early. Big fight of uh, Ali and Foreman for the title. Uh, talking about that in this issue of November 1974. January 1975, Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, the $10 million gamble. Champions of tomorrow surrounding the corners of the champ. And the fight. Ali's miracle victory makes him champion again. What a great cover this is on the cover of March 1975. Special collector's souvenir, Ali regains the world title once again. May 1975, and it's talking to Ali after the fight, about the fight, uh, the future for Ali, what's next. <clears throat> Here is a really rare magazine uh, of Ali Muhammad Ali picture book it was not printed or released in America um, it is impossible to find a cover almost any champion really but in the 1970s and then 60s also you never seen a champion on the cover of a magazine with the belt and I don't know why they didn't uh, they did it for wrestling wrestling was loaded with champions on their covers but boxing did not uh, this is Ali with his rings heavyweight championship um, really rare shot of him with that this is the only magazine cover of him on a cover with the belt you, you will be hard-pressed to find champions uh, early 70s or 60s and all 50s with a championship belt around their waist it wasn't until early 1980s and you've seen like Marvin Hagler stands out as one of the first few guys I've seen with with belts around the waist but it didn't happen in the 70s very often 
I have a couple uh, at the end of this pile here I'm going to show, and that would be it for all the champions with their belts. Um, there is a photo with Ali wearing the WBC green belt, but it was never on the cover of a magazine. It was inside the cover. It was inside the magazines in a black and white issue, but um, or a black and white photo, but uh, nothing in color like this. And this is the only time you'll see him as champ. Very rare, hard to find magazine. Had to send away for that far and wide. Uh, July of '75, World Boxing. September 75, Frazier insists Ali is ducking me. Big George Foreman reveals what really happened. George would disappear for a while. Uh, November 1975, Ali yelling. <laughs> Ali and Frazier, you can tell it's Frazier by doing his bobbing and weaving. Um, July, uh, January 1976. Uh, special coverage of Ali Frazier 3, the super fight issue. March 76, Kenny Norton coming out of nowhere and uh, shocking everybody with the, with the display that he put on against Ali a couple of times, three times, and uh, what a hell of a fight they were. And he really took it to him. Uh, future champion uh, in the making for sure. Yeah, he showed everyone what he was made of, without a doubt. May 1976, July 76, Ali wins his 50th fight, Foreman Frazier 2, it's a matter of pride, Ali on the cover September 1976, special features the Stato chart in November of 1976, that's like the Stato chart they did for the wrestling magazines. Um, they give you, you know, their, like their record and their PowerPoints, their defensive abilities, their footwork, uh, the, the, their, 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 their southpaw, the orthodox, how they move, uh, all different stats for, and they break it down from like a number, uh, you know, like, like one through 10, or it's like a 9.1 or 9.2 or 8.5. Same thing as the wrestling, just rating the guys. This is the only boxing issue I've seen it in though, I believe it's only one, I know wrestling had it in two of them, and they only did it uh, this one time that I, uh, that I recall for the boxing. Uh, Ali and Norton once again on the cover. Amazing Ali wins the big one again. January of uh, 77. I'm not so sure he did. That was the soup. This is a souvenir uh, issue of Ali uh, Norton and it's got it's uh, loaded with coverage of their fight and what a great fight it was. If you haven't seen it, please try to find it. I'm sure it's on YouTube. YouTube was great for showing old fights before. I haven't checked in a long time, but almost every fight you could want it would be on TV because they were always free on television for everybody. It wasn't like a pay-per-view thing. So thank God uh, for YouTube to watch these fights whenever we want. Um, once again with uh, Norton and Ali, uh, fight of the year, most certainly was. Uh, this is March 77. Ali is just an ordinary fighter, says Foreman about Ali. I remember Buster Mathis Jr. saying the same thing about Tyson before Tyson put him out in a couple quick rounds. World Boxing 1977, got a shot of uh, former world champ uh, Rocky Balboa. Is that, no, I guess he would be the... I don't know sure if this was part from part two or one, 77. I don't know when part two came out. Uh, anyway, it's the main page would be Ali and Frazier once again uh, on the major story. Ken Norton, uh, I'll do the same to Ali, September 1977. World Boxing, November 77. Frazier's comeback plan, I'll knock out Clay in Super Fight 4, only there won't be one. January 1978, World Boxing. And a year in review, uh, Fighter of the Year, Ken Norton. Um, 
fight of the year, Shavers and Ali, hell of a fight it was, March of 1978's issue of World Boxing. Much like the wrestling magazines, they have the uh, year-end awards for the you know the best match, rookie of the year, fighter of the year, comeback of the year, that kind of stuff. And uh, it wasn't done all the time. Uh, I, I remember it in a couple of issues in the, in the 70s, but there wasn't like every year like in wrestling. They would change it up too. It wouldn't be always in World Boxing either. Uh, Norton and Ali once again, May 1978. <clears throat> and shock the world. Leon Spinks defeats Muhammad Ali by decision. Um, shock the world with this. Ali was not himself, that's for sure. Um, got beat by Leon, who only had seven fights up to this point. Uh, or seven wins. I, I, he was undefeated. I don't know if he had any draws or not, but I think he had seven wins uh, in July 1978. Becomes champion of the world and shocks the world. This is my autographed issue. Anyone who upsets Ali like that, oh, I want the autographed issue for sure. Um, this is uh, July 1978. He would not hold the title for very long, as everybody knows, but still, you can't take it away from him. He was champion of the world and did what a lot of men couldn't do. September 1978, Ali Spinks 2, talking about the buildup uh, for Ali for the rematch. Special sports review series, super fight issue, Ali Spinks 2, comes with a giant poster uh, inside. This is a mail-in only uh, super fight uh, magazine. Um, this came out in uh, mid-78 uh, for the rematch and the title good coverage of only those two men on the other side of things world boxing and Larry Holmes took on Ken Norton and Larry Holmes would take Norton's WBC title great fight that was November 78 world boxing Muhammad Ali the legend lives on and this is another mail away special uh, issue for Muhammad Ali the champ talks about his title wins the one in 64 um, the one in 74 and uh, possibly another one against Spinks in 78 if he can regain the title. World Boxing January 1979 and Ali regains the title. Full coverage is in this issue of January 79 as well as talking about his previous fights listed in, seven, in 64, uh, Big Foreman in 74, now Spinks in 78 for the third time. Larry Holmes on the cover, Fighter of the Year, Round of the Year, would go to Holmes uh, in the 15th round for Holmes versus Norton in March 1979, World Boxing. May 1979, taking a look at Sugar Ray for the, his first appearance on world boxing now you're starting to get into some of the lighter weight guys up until this point the heavyweights were completely dominant of all the magazines and uh, from here on out throughout the 80s uh, all the way up until today well today sadly they don't make magazines anymore uh, heartbreaking news with the ring uh, magazine was the last surviving physical copy here in the united states and uh, in 2023 they went to digital copies only which is horrible really really sad um, but May of 1979, World Boxing's also got uh, Jerry Cooney on the bottom uh, talking about his rise to, I don't know, maybe not the top, but somewhere close. I never thought he was that great. July 79, we got Danny Lopez on the cover with the WBC title. And here's a champion finally starting to show some champions with some belts. And uh, you'll see a lot more of this throughout the years from now on to the eight, uh, throughout the, the, the 80s and 90s, July 79. September 79, Ali, Mike Rossman in the far corner. Uh, November 79, I think this is the last, this should be the last issue for uh, for this decade of the of the 70s and world boxing, but I uh, I got a couple 
80s issues here by accident. Uh, I didn't mean to put them in there. Uh, anyway, Shavers and uh, Ali uh, in round 11. Uh, I'm sorry, Holmes. Holmes stopped Shavers in round 11. February 1980, International Boxing. I'll show some 80s ones later on. I don't know how they got mixed in here. And this is also we're not supposed to be here. Uh, World Boxing, uh, Sphinx mounting a comeback in May of 1980. Um, what do we got here? Uh, also, Tommy Hearns' first magazine cover, World Boxing 1980. I wasn't supposed to show those. Sorry about that. But that's an uh, extra bonus, I guess. Uh, so I was talking to you about champions weren't hardly on any covers. Uh, Ken Norton, when he was the champ, WBC, uh, he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated with the belt. This would be your first time seeing a heavyweight champ uh, on a magazine with a belt. And it wasn't, like I said, it didn't happen very often. This happened in 78. Um, a great shot of, of, of Norton behind a big cactus tree. And Larry Holmes was on the cover of TV Boxing. Um, this would be an 81, though, uh, but not many covers uh, with, with Larry. I have a few of Larry's autographs, uh, and even the covers I have signed, uh, he, he doesn't have the belt. It was pretty hard to find them. Um, and this is a super rare shot, small little ma magazine uh, called Jet. And um, uh, it's the only magazine you'll find with uh, Smoke and Joe on the cover uh, with the world title when he was world champion in 71. This issue came out. And um, it was just, or yeah, so, so it was 71 or 72. Um, you know what? No, this was like closer to 73, right before he lost the title, because they were talking about him and, uh, and Foreman uh, in here. Um, but yeah, it's a great shot of Joe. I wish it was on a, uh, he was on more magazines. This is a really hard one to find. Um, I've seen it a long time ago, it was selling for a lot of money for this little magazine, but the only shot of Joe. All right, so that was World Boxing and then a few others that I mixed in there by accident. Uh, so thanks for joining me on World Boxing. We'll see you guys on the next boxing one. I'm not sure what it'll be. Uh, I might do a, uh, a, a video for, for Mike Tyson because I got a ton of magazines with Tyson. Maybe do like a Rise of Mike Tyson, something like that. Or we'll hit into some 80s issues. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next.